Hello and welcome to the new blog for today's Times Crossword, 18th of August. Um, today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Um, this is going to be uh, a blog aimed more at beginners and trying to explain about some of the basic properties of these puzzles. Um, you can see actually I've already solved the puzzle today. Um, it took me about 15 minutes that included a small break when uh, one of my children had a tantrum needed to be attended to. I, th I thought the puzzle was about average difficulty. Um, very tight set of clues um, that ranged actually between the fairly simple and the fairly difficult. But one of the things that we need to start with when we learn how to do these puzzles is as Mark said yesterday, every single clue contains within it basically a quick crossword clue, a simple definition, and that will almost always appear either at the very start or the very end of the clue. There are, there's one exception or two exceptions I can think to this rule, but they probably would only appear in the times once a month, may, maybe even more rarely than that. So we're certainly not going to talk about that. The vast majority of times cryptic crosswords can be can be completely solved by just focusing on quick crossword definitions appearing either at the start or the end of the clue. So what I did as an experiment was I, I thought, well, I'll take today's puzzle and I will just rewrite the clues. Um, I will suck out of them, if you like, just the quick crossword parts. And I've done that here. So, I mean, please excuse my ineptness with Microsoft Paint. Um, they, there you should be able to see on the screen basically the list of quick crossword clues that have been taken from the cryptic crossword clues that appear in today's puzzle. So you can see, for example, that 14 across is the quick crossword clue is just South American City. And there you can see that the cryptic crossword clue was actually soldier is kept in old office back in South American City and so on. And then I thought it would be quite interesting just to take a look at the quick crossword clues and ask oneself, has it made it easier now that you've just got these quick crossword definitions? I mean, in some, some cases I think it, it has made it easier. So for example, five across we can see I couldn't care less and we can see in the grid that that's two, four, I couldn't care less, so what? I mean, that, that that jumps out at me as a, as a, as a probable answer to that. Um, and if you get so what, you can probably get some of the others, um, you know, explanations for answers. But there are others that are more difficult. I mean, articulate is there. Well, articulate could be um, articulate. It could be uh, adjectival. Um, and I, I can't actually even remember what the answer was to the, oh yes, it was pronounced, wasn't it? It, it was to articulate, it was being used um, as a verb. Um, so, you know, that might be easy with just a quick crossword clue, but it isn't totally simple. Um, other clues like trespasser for usurper, maybe, maybe one would get that quickly. Um, I, I wonder actually, if, if you were to give me or, or Mark you know, a set of quick crossword clues without the cryptic element, whether we'd actually solve more slowly. Uh, the really helpful thing is to be able to determine which or how to extract the quick crossword clue. So, so to know which part of the clue is wordplay and which part of the clue is the definition. That, that is a skill and that's something that we're going to cover over the next few weeks in terms of learning how to do that. Um, and in, in a sense it can be quite mathematical because most clues are of the form you know A plus B equals C where A and B are bits of wordplay and C is the definition or, or it could be the other way around A equals B plus C. And sometimes the setter um, will give clues with the language that he uses as to you know which way round uh, the, the clue is. But the last thing I'd like to talk about today is a, 
um, a really good way of getting one answer in almost every time scripted crossword if you have the patience to do it. Um, in almost every times crossword there is what's called a hidden. So there is one clue which will contain within it the actual answer. Um, it, it will be there spelt out within the uh, letters of the clue. It might be spelt out forwards or it might be spelt out backwards. Um, but it's there for you to find. And in today's crossword that appeared at 20 across. So the clue was some feel Kandinsky is revolutionary artist which um, you know, uh, reads quite well. Um, but the word that all experienced cryptic crossword solvers will key in on immediately when they read that clue is the word some. Because when we see that word, we're immediately looking for the letters within the next string uh, that appears in the clue. So here it's Fiel Kandinsky. We're looking within the actual letters, we're looking for some of those letters to see whether they spell anything interesting. Here there's this slight complication that it says I need to look at the revolutionary letters within that string. So I need to actually look at the read the letters in reverse. And you can see within within there, if I point the cursor, you've got you've got the K, the L, the E and the E of Klee who is another artist, and that's the answer to the clue. And there will almost always, in every Times crossword, there will only be one, because that's the rules that the setters are given. You're only allowed to do one hidden in, in each Times crossword, but they're almost always there. So what you need to look for is some word or phrase in the clue that suggests you need to look at the parts, the individual letters within the next string. So the word might be hidden, you know, or hidden within, or covered within, or, you know, that sort of phrase that suggests you need to have a, a look inside the letters of the next word or two words and start hunting because you'll always find one. And, and here, if you look at 20 across, it actually gives you some great letters as well. It gives you the K from uh, Wisecrack at six down, and it gives you the starting letter for 21 down, which was quite solvable. And uh, let's just have a quick look at that. Hide in state of agitation with prints finally entering. So it, in that clue, uh, one needed to work out that the, uh, the definition was hide. And then the way to read the rest of it is in a word that is that means a state of agitation, we should put the final letter of the word prince. So you can see with prince finally entering. So I need to put an E in a six letter word that means a state of agitation. And if you could think of lava, you put the E inside and you get leather. And leather is, is, is hide. And that's the answer to that one. Um, so I hope this has been interesting. Um, I'm not sure uh, you know, how much we got from, from sucking out the quick crossword clues, but I think um, I thought it was, it was you know, illuminating at least a little bit in terms of um, how important the wordplay parts of the clues are, especially if you want to start solving these things quickly. Um, and we'll talk more next time about how to actually decide which part of the clue is the quick bit and which part of the clue is the wordplay bit. Um, we've been very grateful so far to the um, almost entirely positive comments we've had on the blogs um, and we really appreciate it when you leave feedback on the videos. So any feedback, most welcome. Any questions, anything you'd like to see more of, we're very happy to help. Um, thanks very much for watching.